Hello there. This is the family doctor. Kind of fun, isn't it, Grant? Walking in the rain. Yes, yes, it is. But you better take a mustard foot bath when you get home. This is just like old times, isn't it? Old times? Uh, it rains every year, doesn't it? Remember that winter we spent in Chicago while you were doing your postgraduate work? Yep. Remember how we used to stroll up and down Michigan Boulevard in the rain? Yes, but... Well, we're not as young as we were then, Lou. We can't afford to take chances on catching cold. Oh, look, Grant. Hmm? What? Look at what? That fine new radio in Rankin's window. Yeah, mighty pretty, all right. Oh, Grant Adam, you're not looking at all. Well, what's the use of looking and get my appetite all whetted up for something I know I can't afford? Well, huh? it don't hurt for us to just look at something nice, does it? Well, no, suppose not. Hmm, yes, yes, that is pretty all right. <laughs> What are you laughing at? Uh, I was just thinking. Isn't it funny? What? <laughs> what different folks use for enjoyment. Now, Sam Windsor, well, he likes to play golf over at the Dunlap Country Club. And Pete May just fairly dotes on a good rousing game of checkers. And Ralph Bates is never any happier than when he's foreclosing a mortgage. <laughs> and you, well, all you want to do, Lou, is look in a wind at something you can't have. <laughs> Yeah, but then I guess you're just like all women, huh? Oh, Grand Adams of all things. <laughs> what a topic of conversation. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter? Here comes Bert Webb and Grant. He's intoxicated again. Hmm. Yeah, he's drunk, all right. Well, what shall we do? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, hello, folks. Glad to see you. How do, Mr. Webb? Yeah. Hello, Bert. What are you doing out at this time of night in the rain? Oh, been celebrating. Celebrating? Yep, huh? my birthday. Oh, congratulations. Yep, celebrating my birthday. Of course, it uh, ain't till next month, but it's been celebrating just the same. <laughs> well, you better get on home, Bert. It's raining uh, pretty hard. Raining? Oh, yeah, it is, ain't it? Oh, gonna be rotten weather for the circus parade tomorrow. Circus? Yep, gonna have a circus tomorrow. Uh, gotta celebrate. Well, be saying of you. Uh, go to the next to the next. <laughs> oh, my God, I know <laughs> Isn't that a shame? Yeah, yeah, it is. And Mrs. Webb at home there, working her fingers to the bone to keep that big family fed and clothed. It's a crying shame, that's what it is. Well, you see, Lou, we were talking about what different kinds of things the different folks in Cedar can get enjoyment out of. Now, Bert, he thinks he's enjoying himself just the same as you looking in that window there. But he isn't. No, sir, e Bob, it's just a disease. That's all it is. Disease? Yep, that's all. Bert Webb's drinking is just as much of a disease as Marie Antoinette Rankin's measles or Ted Maynard's broken leg. Only Bert's disease is like Maddie Clark's gossip. It's a disease of the mind instead of the body. Mm, I guess you're right, Grant. Right. Uh, no, I'm right. Well, come on. Let's get on home and fix up a mustard bath for your feet. Now, 
Now, don't lean out of that window too far, Lou. I can't imagine you not knowing there was going to be a circus parade today, Glad. Why, everybody in Cedarton's been talking about it for weeks. I've been too busy, I guess. <laughs> you too busy for a circus? <laughs> How you talk? Well, that's all right now, but just don't you lean out too far. Oh, oh here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, yeah? Well, maybe this specimen can wait till a little bit later. I knew you'd come to the window to see the parade. Oh, look, Grant, there it is. The band. See the band? Yeah, I see it all right. Say, they look mighty grand, don't they, in their red and gold suits? Well, I should say they do. Oh, look. Look at those big white wagons. They're all filled with lions and tigers. Hmm, aren't they grand? Yeah, uh, they're the monkeys. Say, <laughs> they're kind of spry, aren't they? <laughs> look at them. Oh, oh, look, Grant. Hey, what? Where? There's poor Bert Webb down there below us. Right below your windows. Oh, isn't that terrible? He isn't, um, he isn't right yet. No, he must have been at it all night. Too bad, it's too bad. Oh, here comes another band, Lou. Oh, yes. Aren't they pretty? <laughs> and just see those clowns. <laughs> Aren't they the ones, though? <laughs> you see those elephants coming up behind the clowns? <laughs> oh, yes. Aren't they comical? <laughs> Grant. Grant! What's the matter? There's a little girl running out in front of that first elephant. Oh! Yeah, nobody sees her. Hey, hey, down there. Look out for that little girl. Oh, it's the hey. youngest web child. I know that little gingham dress. Hey, look. Bert's running out after her. It pushed her out of the way. Oh! Lou, Bert's been hurt by that elephant. I'm going down there. You get some hot water ready. Uh, spread the clean sheet out over the operating table. I'll be right up with Bert. He's hurt bad. <laughs> Packing, please. That's it. Read the respiration. Twenty-five. More oxygen. Blood pressure? A hundred and ten over seventy. Pulse? Ninety. Uh, I can't stop this hemorrhage. More packing. Respiration and pulse? Respiration, thirty-three. Pulse? hundred and ten. Go out and talk to his wife. You can't do anything more in here. Very well, Grant. I'll come right back. Oh, Mrs. Adams. Is Bert all right? Has Dr. Adams fixed him up yet? Now, oh. now, Mrs. Webb, you must be quiet. You mustn't speak too loud. The doctor is doing his best. Yes. Mr. Webb is holding his own so far. Holding his own? I know what that means. It means nothing can be done for him. Oh, he's dying. He's dying. <laughs> Mrs. Webb, please sit down. I want to go in there. I must. Bert needs no, me. No, he doesn't. He needs surgical attention. Oh. He must have it. You would only be in the way, Mrs. Webb. Oh, yes. Yes. I know you're right. Of course you're right. Oh, Mrs. Adams, what would we do here in Cedarton without the doctor? Isn't he a fine man, though? Yes. Yes, he is a fine man. And he's going to bring my Bert back to me. I know he is. I... Yes, of course he is. Now, you sit down again, <laughs> and I'll be back just as soon as I can and tell you how Mr. Webb's getting along. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Adams. Thank you so much. You turned the oxygen off. Yes, I turned it off. It, it can't do any more good. I understand, Grant. You did your best. What am I going to say to that poor woman in there? Maybe I could... No, no. I'm the doctor. This is my job. Take my gloves off, will you, please? Of course, Grant. 
Thank you. Well, it has to be done. Lou, will you come out with me? Of course I will. Great. Thanks. I need you. Dr. Adams, is Bert all... No. I can see by your eyes. Oh, Bert. <laughs> Raining again, Grant. Raining? Oh, yes, yes, so it is. Isn't it queer, though? The rain just let up for one day. Uh, yep, it is a mite peculiar. Grant, you did your best. Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, I suppose I did. Wasn't quite enough, though, was it? It was all anybody could have done, Grant. Oh, well, maybe. Mm, I, I suppose it was. What are you thinking about, Grant? I, uh, well, I, I guess I was just thinking about that talk we had night before last. About what folks sought out of life for enjoyment. Sam Windsor and his golf, Maddie Clark and her gossip, Pete May and his checkers and all the rest. Mm. I think I understand. Don't you think we should go home, Grant? I think maybe I'd better get a mustard bath ready for your feet. Grant. Where are we walking to? I thought maybe we might stroll past Rankin's Hardware Store. Rankin's Hardware? What for? Oh, just thought we might look at that radio in the window again. the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.